First, you're gonna need to cut child spike in half. It's not his bike. Then, you will need an adult bike and cut its front fork in half. Wait, this isn't a tutorial. This video is about giving back and about defying the status quo of Reddit engineering. I mean, I will show you how to build a cargo bike without welding and stuff, but not really step by step. This is Magis, who during the last 18 months supported the channel with almost 1600 euros. And these are the Reddit engineers that have doubted me that it is possible to build a long John cargo bike only with bolts. But his dreams of cargo bike, and I want to surprise him, and I dream of proving self-righteous Reddit engineers wrong. And now look at this amazing engineering. Now, no matter how far I steer the handlebar, this thing here stays all the time perpendicular to the ground. It's, a, it's, it's pretty cool. The only thing is that it doesn't really steer the other wheel. Who would have, who would have thought? I did. I, I did. I did think about that. And off I go to test it. And there were two issues. The frame still bends and the steering is a danger to everyone, especially shins. This clearly didn't work. I showed it to my workmate with hope of, you know, encouragement, but... You're gonna die. It's, you're gonna take a thing, I don't know, that weighs over 20 kilos and it's going to break apart. Okay, okay, 20 kilos, okay. But if you put like 50 kilos, it will break. There he was. Now to addition to online naysayers, my own colleague, my, my, my own blood <laughs> was against me. And I thought what I always do, you know, when something isn't working as it should, I just add more bolts. I didn't film myself riding it, but trust me, it was a disaster. I filmed this video instead and posted it to my Patreon page. And the worst possible happened. Muddis himself started to doubt the project. I guess from solidarity, he at least offered a solution to the following Thing issue. Is that it stands only right. It doesn't really come back to left. And all this thing, all this wiggly thing, you see, there is so much delay between the steering that riding it is very dangerous. In addition to this failure, that day I turned 30 years old. It is today, which is weird, but it is the truth. And as a present to myself, I gave myself that I spent the whole day building, you know, because I enjoyed it and so it was made possible and it failed. Whatever, stay pressed. I'm laughing here, but that day I, I actually did. I did cry. And there was only one hope left. My sort of adopted father that I kicked out from the previous cargo bike video. And he did come to my aid. As he always does. And he, he solved it. He did. I thought just fuck it, nobody needs more montages, this is, this is it, it's, it's, it's done, it's done. I got these two bo ball joints, they're actually kind of expensive, but luckily I have Patreon. <laughs> Thank you guys, I love you. But yeah, they allow you to, to move around 
both axes like this and like this. So it was possible to get rid of the fancy mechanism that caused the delay between the handlebars and the front wheel. And I also botched together a sort of platform to carry things. That's basically it. By the way, for all the skeptics out there, this is clearly the weakest point. But look, I reinforced it. Eight lock nuts, Loctite glue and this much effort tightening it. Now it was time to test it. Clearly the biggest challenge for the bike was to turn. So let's compare side to side, turning with a cargo bike designed by real engineers and then one that designed by <coughs> myself. So Lauri reckoned that 50 kilos would break it. I don't have 50 kilos, well of anything, but I have 65 kilos of Marimo. Looking at it, Marimel seems pretty comfy. <laughs> Anyways, it did turn and it wasn't the smoothest. But it works. It's like, yeah, right, it was wobbly, it was squeaky. But to be fair with me, like the snow, this was the worst kind of snow to, to ride bike on. And but it like, it works. I know for sure there are some others that are maybe not so excited about the bike being operational. Yesterday I took a pictures of the bike and put it up to the subreddits, which I initially asked from whether if it's even possible to build such vehicle. So let's see now what they have to say about it. Don't put much trust into those bolts. I fear for your safety. <laughs> it's making it nervous just looking at it. It's a death trap. Yes, it is a bike. I personally wouldn't put any cargo on it. I wouldn't even ride it at all. Please don't endanger yourself and maybe others by using this cargo bike by hauling stuff and please never haul someone. This is genuinely terrifying. Quite ingenious. Thank you. That's that's the comment I was looking for. Quite ingenious. No, but seriously, there were some comments that were like constructively critical, you know? Like, well, I mean, I know it's not perfect. I know it's probably sort of a death trap and there should be real break, but some of this Reddit engineering really... Perfect. Now let's give this death trap to Madis. It's there. It's a guy's tirata, it's a guy's On. Hey, all on. Tell me the next in Vice Agra. This is not a good idea. Get the fish in the hacks for the hacks. Get the fish in 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 the hacks. Get the fish I think it has the potential <laughs> to be a dad. <laughs> yes. <laughs>